Alright guys, uh, this is me uh, doing another tutorial. How's it going guys? So today I'm going to show you how to do some uh, masking in Mojo 12 Pro. So, um, sit back and enjoy this. I know that uh, last year somebody had uh, uh, posted something to me about masking and I could not get to my computer so here we go so first off you want to start off with a new document uh, you don't have to but for demonstration purposes this is what I have to do so um First off, we're going to start over here with a new layer. And then we're going to group this section. And it will create a, a folder. Let's call this mask. And you see layer number one here? Okay, so after that's done, you can have up to as many as you want to. So we're going to have three, three of them to click duplication. And let's rename these before we start. So. Today we're going to uh, be creating an eyeball. So the first bottom layer is going to be your um, mask group, mask, masking layer. And let's call this eye. Okay. And this last uh layer three is gonna be called lid because it's going to be the eyelid to activate the uh their settings double click on it then go ahead and click this masking tab Go ahead and press enter. And you notice how the layer has changed from a blank to like a white and black symbol up here. That means that it's being masked or a masking group layer. So let's also Double click on the socket. Let's adjust some properties in the masking tab. Just click with your mouse. And you'll see uh, it says add mask. That's what we want. Oops. And then we also want to um, be sure that the stroke doesn't get masked. So, we're going to just click that true strokes. And we're going to draw out the circle for the eye. Let me get my drawing tablet out. Now we're going to create a shape over here. And we're going 
want to leave a default auto fill on the stroke. Select a circle now. Click and hold across the canvas. A circle. Shift. Um, if you want the perfect circle. Okay. Let's actually put in the position. Type in zero, zero. That will center it. Okay. Now for the um, eye itself, we're going to select a different color for the eyes and change the stroke to so let's select a blue color go ahead and select the color picker for the stroke let's select a, a even darker blue and something like this is good press ok And now we can um, continue drawing our eye. So once again, hold and press shift. And then we'll create a circle. So we're going to do that again in the coordinates for the position. Make sure it's zeroed out. And we close this for right now. And see if I um, uh, mess around with this layer position. You'll see that that eye is disappearing from the mask. And once I render this out, Control R, you'll see how the uh, white of the eye and the two strokes are meeting together. Let's also also um, reset that on frame zero. So now we're going to highlight the lid. Let's also uh, give the eyeball a uh, eye, eyelid. So first off, we're gonna go back to the styles, reset everything, and let's select this skin color. The same thing, you can select from the side dropper tool for this stroke. And let's look at darker uh, fill for the stroke. Okay, we can close out that. Go over here to the shape tools and select the rectangle. And we're going to go above the circle that we just created. So click and hold on the canvas and you'll see that we will have a rectangle shape created. And now we can adjust these points by selecting the um, The point manipulation tool or T on the keyboard. Let's just lose a point. Let's also add in another um, point by selecting A on the keyboard. And so right now we have this shape for the eyelid. Let's also make this more rounder. So 
so we're going to be adjusting the curvature. See on the keyboard, or just click this icon. Drag it over to your right hand side. And that will give us a curve that we want. So that way we can uh, adjust this eyelid. For right now, let's leave it up there. Okay. So now that we're done setting up our um, eyeball here, let's go ahead and animate it now. Okay, on frame one, we're going to uh, select the smooth interpolation and then select all the points from the lid. Just control A to select all the points. Now we can select the Freeze Close Tool up by Draw. Or Freeze the Points. Sorry. Now with the eyelid selected, we're going to make it blink. So we're going to actually predict where the um, eyelid is going to return. So roughly around 8 frames. I want it to return. Control F. And that will return the points to the original position. Let's also go to frame 3. Start bringing down our points. Just like that. Deselect everything by escape. Let's drag down this point so that it closes. And see if we scrub through the timeline, you can see our eye blinks. Let's also to uh, make the eye look to the right. So now we're gonna go on frame one. Select the layer position. Select the reset on frame one. So on frame nine is where I want to have the eyeball um, uh, looking to the right. So what I'm going to do is just move that shape over to here and then we'll look off to the right. But as you notice too, if we scroll through the thing, it will actually um, move too soon. So let's scrub through the timeline. Just go over with the mouse. And let's select uh, where the eye, where the lid has closed. Select this keyframe. Control C, Control V to reset the frame. And now if we uh, scrub through here, let's make this repeat itself in the timeline. So we're going to enter in um, from 11 to 11. 
Okay, then we'll tell the program, hey, I want you to uh, display only 11 frames. And then we can zoom back. And you'll see that the eye blinks. And that's called masking. When you don't want to uh, have this go off of the other vector shapes. And it's controlled by this bottom mask. Bottom uh, layer. It has to uh, have a plus sign in front of the layer to be considered masking. Anyway guys, thanks for watching this. Make sure to hit that like button for me and subscribe for new content mostly every week.